So what's up guys, we're just sitting here on a Wednesday morning, everything's going smooth, and then I get this notification that Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster is just teased on the official Dead Rising and Capcom pages, and I'm just like, at this point, Capcom needs to be stopped. But let's check out the trailer first, and then I'm going to give you guys some of my thoughts and raw reaction when it comes to this trailer. Dead Rising is seemingly back! Let's jump into the trailer. 2006 original release, gamer across the globe or captivated by the originality. Yeah, the original Dead Rising is one of my favorite Capcom games. HD remaster, yeah, that was dope too. Well, here we are, and now in 2024, coming to the newest generation of platforms and updated release at the latest look. Dead Rising is back, baby. Frank West. <laughs> That's crazy. DR, DR, Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster. All right, all right. Yes! Capcom is on fire right now. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's jump into a couple things. Let's talk about this, guys. All right, guys, so I have a couple things that I want to talk about, and let's jump into what we're seeing here on the screen. Now, first of all, let's go with the visual. Visually, the game looks awesome. I mean, it looks like a remaster slash remake. I really hate when the line is blurred between both of these words. Clearly, this is a remake level of detail, and it's a new model. It's new graphic style. This is, in my definition, a remake. Now, it's calling it a remaster, but to me, a remaster would be the original graphics in the original style upscaled to modern day standards. So I'm going to call this officially the Dead Rising remake because I feel like this is an entirely new engine. This is a new engine. I don't think this is on MT Framework anymore, obviously. This looks like RE Engine. And I mean, look at Frank. Look at the character model. He looks completely different. Now, while speaking of looking at Frank, I don't know <laughs> I don't know if there's any regular guy like Frank who has looked different in every iteration of his appearance than Frank West. <laughs> and I say that out of love. Ryu from Street Fighter looks like Ryu in every single game. Chun Li mostly looks like herself in every single game. But for some reason, Frank West is just a regular guy and his look kind of changes all the time. But it's all love. I am excited to be here. Now look. Dead Rising is a very special franchise to me. Its last few outings have not been the strongest. Its last few outings have been a little bit rough. Um, Dead Rising 2 was the last Dead Rising that I truly enjoyed personally. Dead Rising 1 is a classic. Dead Rising 2 is my favorite. 3 and beyond, I have not paid attention to the series anymore because to me it somewhat lost its way and it lost what made it originally Dead Rising and captivating in the first place. But in 2024, with the role and the streak that Capcom has been on, they have been on an absolute tear when it comes to delivering quality, giving the fans what they want. I mean, just seeing Dead Rising alive right now, I am extremely hyped. I'm extremely excited. I mean, this, this is big news, man. I seemingly thought Dead Rising was dead. <laughs> you like that? I thought Dead Rising was in the grave to never be arisen again. And here we are. We got Frank coming back with a new look. Um, I am extremely excited about this. I mean, to have a new Dead Rising anything with the current age of Capcom, I am very, very excited. Now, there are a couple questions that I do have. Now, clearly, is this a remake from the ground up? Will everything be different? Will there be some new quality of life features in here as well? Hopefully, there are some things in here that entices this package and makes it more than just a, you know, one-to-one -one remake. Uh, I'm going to keep calling it a remake because I'm not, I don't see this as a remaster. This is not a remaster to me. This is a remake to me, guys. So... Um, I have a couple questions, you know, I am wondering where is the voice actor? What's going on with TJ? Why do we keep having the same issue with TJ voicing Frank West? His voice is so iconic with the character. I mean, what, Frank West came out in what, 2006? I mean, we're talking 14 years? There's so many years now of this guy voicing this character from Dead Rising 1 to Dead Rising Case West to Dead Rising 2 Off The Record to Marvel vs. Capcom. I mean, at this point, everybody's gonna always ask for TJ. 
So I don't know what's going on with the TJ and Capcom situation. Not that I know anything, but he's never, we always gotta go through this. It's like we always have to go through this. Where's TJ? Where's TJ? Where's TJ? So again, I'm gonna ask, I hope TJ comes back onto the project and, and figure out what's going on. But I am slightly open to just seeing something new. Um, if this package has to be new as a whole, I'm excited for it. I don't want you guys to misconstrue me. I am very excited to have Dead Rising back in any capacity. This is a game franchise that was big for Capcom at one point. In that 2006 through 11 era, Dead Rising was an actual key player in the grand scope of Capcom. It wasn't until those latest releases where this series kind of lost its way that Dead Rising just plunged down into the toilet. So let's hope that this is a brand new beginning. Um, despite me just covering fighting games and JRPGs, I really do enjoy the Dead Rising series, guys. It was one of my favorites that I've played, and Frank West is my guy. Chuck Green is my guy. So I'm excited as a heart Dead Rising fan. <laughs> this... And then the original was such a classic game. Hey man, I'm very excited. Y'all let me know down in the comment section below. What are you thinking about this remake so far? What are you thinking about this brand new look of Dead Rising remake? I'm excited, man. Capcom, you on the roll right now. You are on the roll. Give me Mega Man Legends and you my favorite company all over again. All right, God bless. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.